Today we're at the Orange County Swap Meet, and today we're going to be looking for some Nintendo games, some Super Nintendo games, some GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. Wish us luck today in our first episode of The NES Pursuit. The NES Pursuit! Hi everyone, I'm Aaron, and I'm Ricky, and today we're at the Orange County Swap Meet. Today we're going to be looking for some Nintendo games, some Super Nintendo games, some GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. Wish us luck today in our 100th episode of The NES Pursuit. An awesome day. Today is one of the most exciting days for me in a very long time. This is episode 100 of the NES Pursuit. It's almost unreal to think and look back that we've done this 100 times, more than 100 videos, but 100 times game hunting on camera. This is so exciting to be back at the same spot where it all began. Look at these special edition Retro Liberty overalls. These were uh, stopped getting made after uh, Pixel Game Squad started. And you know what? I'm pumped and excited because I'm coming with the old school crew. We're just missing one other guy from the old school crew, but this is pretty much old school. We got Andy and Aaron. I don't know where the heck Riff is, but Aaron came today. From a gaming perspective. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see where game hunting full circle has gone at Swap Meet since we first started doing this six years ago. So here we go. Episode 100 of the NES Pursuit. It's kind of unreal to say. Did that hurt? No. That sounded like it actually hurt. <laughs> First booth we pull up to, this dude just has a ton of games. And I mean like Mario games, Xbox games, PS4 games. Ooh. This is a really sweet game. We just, Aaron and I don't even know what to think. We're like, dude, cool. Uh, hopefully it's cheap. It's probably my favorite, like, uh, four player Mario probably game. Probably my favorite case. Wow. Yeah, there's two of them. As we're walking around, one of the first things that catches my eye is Killer Instinct on the Xbox One. Now, this quickly becomes interesting because we asked the guy how much, and then there's a bunch of, oh, there's Killer Instinct. How much are the games? And he says, $2. And I'm like, two bucks for Killer Instinct? What's the reason? The game's just two bucks a piece, but they're not guaranteed to work. Uh, How much? Two dollars a game, we're like, we look at each other, we're like, okay, we haven't had something like this in a while. It says, return to warehouse. Uh, uh, oh, look, so it's a little bit of a gamble. They say, send to warehouse on them. And I guess these were told to be sent back to the warehouse where they came from to be checked. So they're not guaranteed to work, but I feel like, why wouldn't they work, Ricky? Right? For two bucks, I don't care. I mean, look, killer instinct. I love Killer Instinct. It is one of my favorite, if not 
my favorite fighting games of all time. Grew up loving it in the arcades, playing as Orchid, waiting for my parents to walk away so I could play it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that gamble. I'm pretty jealous he found that. I've been looking for that too, but I'm happy for him because, you know, I consider him the killer instinct guy. He's good at it. Is it insured? By survival? No. I can't take that ride. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy was like, I am not sure if they work. So for two bucks though, for Killer Instinct, I can take that gamble. I don't know, the big question for me is if I like it better than Street Fighter. You're better at it than Street Fighter. I'm better at it than Street Fighter. I'd say it's, I'm gonna put it in the top two best fighting games of all time. That's a big deal for me. I am beyond hype to get it. Killer Instinct, I'm gonna do a cook combo right there. On Ricky. On <laughs> Ricky. I can't sing. <laughs> and I picked up a bunch of PS4 games I didn't have and some Mario Wii and Wii U games. Pretty much a bunch of Mario games. Two for the Wii, one for the Wii U. And I don't have Grand Theft Auto, so I grabbed Grand Theft Auto. I think I got seven total. 14 bucks. You okay? For 14 bucks, I could not go wrong. Dude, the Wii Mario games are uh, on the Wii are some of the best, in my opinion, some of the best Mario games Dude, out there. I love it. I love that you jump just by going like this on the controller. And I know a lot of people thought it was gimmicky, but it's one of my favorites. It's really good. Nice! 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 No, I said nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Pixel Game Squad? Congratulations on 100 episodes of NES Pursuit. It's pretty amazing. Ooh, what? That's a, that's a, a big milestone. 100 episodes? How so, did so, you do that? So here's the deal, when NES Pursuit first came on the scene, uh, immediately I was like, wow, this is a Game Chasers ripoff. And then, you know, I watched uh, episode two, three, and I was like, wow, it's not only a Game Chasers ripoff, it's a Disney PG, thir PG, like G version of the Game Chasers. Um, uh, it's, it's a little more handsome too, I'll give you guys that. But It's a riff off. Oh, it's a riff off. So we did that. <laughs> no, we are just joking. I hope your audience is over there going, no! Seriously, guys, congratulations. Um, we know it's not easy doing what you guys do because we do the same thing. Um, love you guys. Uh, it's You're not just fellow YouTubers, you're friends. Uh, if I call you a friend, I call you fan. Day, one of the top racing games of all time. Welcome to episode 100. When things are bright, it's easy to spot them from far away. And Ricky and I see a bunch of Nintendo related type of things, but for some reason, I'm looking at a Nintendo Zapper, and I have a bunch of these NES Zappers, but I'm like, you know what? Wow, the Zapper. Yeah, I love bright, I love bold, I love sticking them on the walls behind me, I love sticking them on shelves, so I know it's not gonna be used very much because I have like three Zappers. Did you know that they had other colors of these? But here in North America, from my understanding is it looked too much like a real gun, so they had to make it orange so it looks more friendly so kids can carry them around not getting the cops going, hey, what are you doing, little kid? Is that a zapper? You think it's funny? No. A Nintendo zapper for five bucks, and we were able. Five bucks each. The guy said five bucks. Do you think we can get some sport, sort of special deal with these if we ask him if we can get a deal? Yes, we're, we're gonna get this for five bucks, but see if we can get him to throw in a game, an experiment from episode one to episode 100. Do people still offer? Dual, dual deals. Grab a game, Ricky, and let's see if it works. Well, first I asked him for some sort of bundle deal, and he was straight up like, would you do this for five, two for five? No, because I'm white. Would you do five for both? Would you do five for both? It's a no. Aaron's over there trying to cut a deal with the little zapper gun, but the guy's not budging. 2014. So Aaron looks at me, he's like, bro, you try to do it. See if he gives you a deal. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll try. Da ocho por los, por los tres. Ocho por los tres. Nueve. I asked the guy, what can you do for this? 
He said, sorry, I cannot do any lower than nine. I was like, a dollar off, that's not bad. <laughs> Ricky asked him for a deal with his stuff and he was like, oh yeah, I'll give you a dollar off. What is that? That's, that's 2019 right there, people. This didn't happen back in the day when I used to ask for deals. I'm getting two. What are you five. getting? Dynasty Tactics 2 and Ratchet Deadlocked. Wow, they look clean too. Dude, they're hey, really they're clean. They're made a T for team though, okay? Uh, you need to be careful around your kids. Make sure you're safe with this gun, this paraphernalia, and rated T games. But we got a good deal. He got a dollar off his gun, and you know what? I was okay with paying two for five for those games. You know what? I'm gonna give you 50. <laughs> you know, it's ever since I took that DNA test and found out that I'm not brown. So episode one, I thought I had brown in me. I found out recently. I'm just white. All my jokes were racist? What do you think of Gabo? What's up, Aaron and Ricky? It's John. I want to give you guys a huge kudos and congratulations on 100 episodes of the NES Pursuit. It's a huge accomplishment. I remember when you guys started the channel years ago. Uh, I've been a fan from day one, practically, and it's really cool to know you guys in person and just consider you guys really, really good friends. Congratulations, keep up the great work. I look forward to more to come. Captain's log. <clears throat> Don't come to the swap meet early after a rainy weekend. Mario Kart. <laughs> and it works. So we're at a booth. And I see this little Wario, which I really want for three bucks, and Riff finds this Street Fighter Famicom game that I kinda want too. Also Mario Paint and NBA All-Star Challenge. Wow, there's like still retro games out here. This is kind of a shocking discovery after 100 episodes of The Pursuit. But I don't wanna pay three for that and then seven for the game. I'm like, ugh. Ten. Ten. So Riff's like, dude, let me try. I think I can get this guy down. Street Fighter 2, <laughs> Super Famicom plus <laughs> Wario. How much would you pay for both? Eight? I do eight for both. Eight for both. We go over there, he literally shows them both. He goes, eh? 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 I'm gonna try me asking. Watch my charm. <laughs> would you do eight that was for both? Slick. Right before I went over to do the deal, I flipped the hair. I was like, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? <laughs> this one. I don't know what he was doing. So how much for both of these? Eight, seven. Over the top buddy buddy. I'm like, hey guys, how much for the game? <laughs> you mean eight? Eight. He did it! <laughs> yeah! You know what? It worked. I got them both. Ricky? You want these, right? Of course. Okay. I was like, I don't even know if you wanted them. <laughs> be funny if I would have said no. And they just giggle all their way to a good deal. Thank you. You're welcome, Ricky. 100 episodes with this idiot. <laughs> Stop, it's awkward. We did it, Ricky. Good job, dude. Great job. Oh, here, it's all yours. So yeah, good deal though, so I had to take it. <laughs> Pixel Game Squad makes me want to dance. I really hope they add music to that. See you, dog. How's it feel? Rough? Hey. This, this, is the, this is the way to assure that Ricky never disappears in the swamp. Andy's idea. <laughs> Dude, look at this. You can... <laughs> Anything Simpsons always catches my eye. I've always been a fan. So I look over there, I'm like, what is that? I'm like, oh, it's shorts. Oh, they're booty shorts. And I was like, Simpsons and wife in one. Hey, how much are these? Hey, how much are these shorts? And the girls <laughs> chuckle. Two dollars. <laughs> Fair price. They're like two dollars. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know if they'll get any use, but... We'll see. Maybe my wife will like them. So I just picked up these sweet uh, Bart booty shorts. How do you think Ricky's gonna look at them? I've always been a Simpsons fan. 
Oh yeah, work it. Oh, whoa! And a booty shorts man. <laughs> Take it sleazy, bro. He's fired! I sound like Gabo. <laughs> <laughs> Too much Gabo. Dude. Oh my god, Gabo, dude, you're giving you're giving me an accent now, bro. Can you please shut up? Shut up! Shut up! I come here so much they know me already. I usually ask for the usual and they know what I'm talking about. The usual. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. See you, Ricky. Good. So this made me really happy. I found this guy that we always go to who has like stuff that seems like it's the stuff that Target couldn't use for some reason. Let me see if this is USB-C. Uh, I think it is, as long as it's what I... Wow, I can use it for my phone too. We've bought stuff off this guy before, and the stuff has always worked for us as far as electronics go. I will buy this because I am a traveling man lately at work. And I see, well Ricky sees too at the same time, a NES controller for the NES Classic. And then, for the NES Classic. That's pretty cool. These things are like $25, sometimes $30, sometimes $20, but it's still in the box. What the? Yeah. yeah. Oh. How much is this stuff? Which one? Right here. Uh, it's five and five. Five and five? And the guy says five bucks. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna take this and also, so 10 bucks for both, I'm gonna buy it. This is, this is one heck of a deal. Wow, I'm happy, Ricky. Thanks for being here with me for so many episodes. It's like you knew that we were both dorks. Both of them for 10, I don't even talk them down because I'm happy for five bucks, and uh, these things, I was just looking, people are selling them like 25 bucks. Dude, they're, they're awesome. This is the kind of stuff that makes me super happy, and what's making me more happy is that we're actually finding things at the swap meet. 100 episodes later, there's still stuff to be found if you just look around. But he sells them for super cheap, and you would think like, oh, they're not gonna work or something wrong with them, but we've never had any issues with them. So, so far? Yeah, so far, so good. Man, it's like we're totally redeeming ourselves. <laughs> Got that nipple. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, can you believe it? 100 episodes, and congrats and shout out to you guys for sure. It's a labor of love, I know it is. A lot of editing that goes into it, a lot of money out of pocket. You're not making a dime making these videos, man. You're actually losing money at this point, I think. <laughs> from attending all these conventions and buying the stuff just for our own entertainment. So thank you for that. And, uh, and I appreciate it. My family appreciates it too. And I like the fact that you keep it family friendly too. Uh, there's a lot of gaming channels out there that we can't watch. And I won't let my kids watch for, for that reason. But yours, top of the list, man. Uh, always a good thing. My hat's off to you as I, as I quickly put my hat back on, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so again, thank you and congrats to you guys. And, uh, and, and, and keep it up, man. 200 episodes in, that's when you'll have to stop though so I can catch up with my channel to be where your channel will be at uh, when that time comes around. Thanks, we'll see ya. Hold on how my life got flipped sort upside down. And I'd hey, like yeah. what's up with you and the genie, bro? What genie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Alright, so we roll up to this reseller that I actually, we've known him for years. And he had something really cool. He had a DJ hero with the gold knobs and everything. So this is the special edition DJ hero. Comes with gold mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you spin it. And Aaron's like, dude, that's pretty cool. I mean, I've seen him, but not with the gold. I'm like, you're right. Something that looked like a CD, but I didn't realize it was the game as well. It's nice and shiny. Nicole's gonna kill me though. How much for this, buddy? Because we know the guy. And Adios? 10 bucks? He's like, um, 10 bucks. I was like, dude, 10 bucks? Uh, Dr. Dre and Eminem. Oh, sorry, Jay Z. <laughs> you don't know Street my stuff. Cred down the Street, Street cred, cred down the drain. 
and you know, I'm, I'm getting egged on by everybody to get it. Plus, I like, made fun of my... Dude, I didn't even know who was on the cover. You just turned one shade wider. <laughs> Honestly, I thought this thing was one of the coolest looking things in, the, in a, I've seen in a while. It's the Renegade Edition. It's gold, it's black, it's shiny. It's like one of those items that even if you don't want, it's like the beautiful display. When I was looking at it in the sun, the beams of light were shining off it, going in my eyes. I could hear Eminem music and Jay-Z music in my ears. The skies were opening with beautiful, glorious rap music. I think we might have resurrected Tupac by purchasing that. I mean, I gotta build up my street, street cred again, so. So, I picked it up to get my street cred back. And I'm gonna get it back now. And 10 bucks. I mean, how could you say no? Wow, 100 episodes. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. The Disney Game Chasers have more episodes than the actual Game Chasers. That's, that's actually pretty funny. Anyway, I uh, just want to say congratulations. Uh, love this show. Love you guys. You've been great. There's some great memories I have on the show. My favorite clip is when, I, when you guys recorded me coming up on the electric scooter at a Retro Palooza. Still makes me laugh to this day. Just wanted to say congratulations and keep up the good work, guys. Find out if it's rare. Plug it in, Andy. <laughs> Medium rare. <laughs> Hello, donkey. <laughs> Spanish version, Shrek. <laughs> By the way, it's not a Guitar Hero version, it's just stickers. I got these for a dollar, and my kids are gonna get at least like 14 hours entertainment out of these. And they're rabbits! This is awesome! I, ever since Mario Rabbids, the Ubisoft game, I like the rabbits, and I didn't before, so. One up for me. They, they, they sound as understandable as Gabo. This is it. This is the end of episode 100. And normally I talk about the day and what we experience, but I'm not going to do that. Today, I'm going to say to everybody, thank you for supporting us through some extremely good highs, some extremely low lows. You guys have been here. And those of you that are new, we're excited that you're here. People have supported the NES Pursuit like nothing I've ever seen. And it's amazing that we've been doing this for 100 episodes and you guys are still here. I mean, just that's amazing. Sorry, you guys are stuck watching us. So thank you guys, we appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys again soon on another episode of the NES Pursuit. The show ain't stopping, 200, here we come. It's so funny they use the genie. <laughs> wow, the humor still sucks on the show. <laughs> you see that? Did you see it? Did you hear it? Since you're brown with your DJ hero stuff. Nicole's gonna kill me. Nicole, if you're watching, I'm sorry. He said yes. Wow, I've been waiting for him to say yes. Now that it's legal. I should buy these, they're vintage. <laughs> Sorry, Ren. I mean, Aaron. Ren. 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 <laughs> Did I offend anybody, probably? Yeah. That's normal on our show. Oh, there's bees. Literally. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Why you off? You're welcome. It's shiny. No, I'm fucking getting into it. It's not screaming Mexico. It's not Mexico enough for me. Oh, and he's my favorite! Right? Yeah! Dude. That's why we're skin. gonna get some good stuff. Four ninety seven. He's gamble. Wait. <laughs> All right, let me start over. You ready for pursuit? Because <laughs> he's. What frick got to do? Got to do with it. <laughs> I think it gives you better signal. I don't know, something like that. What? Gives you nice Wi-Fi signal. What? Are you curling right now? This is the proper way to watch a YouTube video. Wow! I know. I'm a piece of dirt. Look at these. Look at these beauties, bro. Oh my gosh! I just realized Bart is his tongue out. <laughs>
world's laziest game hunter. <laughs> yeah, we were just buying them for joke reasons. We were gonna buy some some junk Nice. Nice. This is the kind of coffee I need. The more coffee I drink, the more awesome. That's not true. <laughs> Uh, 1.3.5, yeah, that's good, okay. Good in, uh, good in. Bucks 360, wonder plug. It gives you reception for your Wi-Fi. One dollar here, one dollar, guys. <laughs> we were expecting to come here and be like, yeah, look at the difference between episode one and episode 100. Finding a bunch of stuff, finding nothing, but no, we're wrong, there's stuff everywhere. This is really exciting to see, almost like an ex social experiment of some sort, that yes, games are still out there, and yes, good deals are still out there as well. So, no excuses for all of us who have used the excuse, including ourselves, like, there's nothing left out there. There is stuff out there. You just keep going. You keep coming back. It works if you work it, and it won't if you don't. So work it, because you're worth it. <sighs> <laughs>